All right, so I'd like to get this, got an ST link here. I really like the ST links, but what I don't like is there's not a lot of circuit protection. Now they're very simple, um, so there's not a lot of circuitry in there that would cause them to fail. It's either, well, let me show you the, the one that's in question. So this is the one that doesn't work. And I'd like to do some other projects with it besides just using it for programming. But right now, the lights don't come on at all when I turn it on. And um, the other thing is it doesn't connect up to the computer. But just doing a quick look, these two chips here, this chip and that chip, they're like transient voltage protection. And I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think the 3.3 volts that comes from the USB and then it well, actually doesn't come directly from the USB, but it comes from this little trip here. So if I plug it in, all right, so we're going to plug this in. Got this. I'm going to see if there's any voltage coming out on the regulator. So is there any, is there even 3.3 volts? So you can see it says ground, reset, 5 volts. So I'll put that on 5 volts, put that in this into the ground, plug this into the ground, and then let's get the portable USB supply. So I've got the portable USB supply to power this thing. Let's plug it in, and as you can see, no lights come on, which they should. So if I go to, I have five volts on right now, so, yep, so I'm getting voltage all the way out to the five volts. Now, if I move this to the 3.3 volts, so, oops, I forgot, leave this in ground, move this to the 3.3 volts, I'm getting 2 volts. And I don't think 2 volts is enough to get this chip to power up, so I think if we, uh, oops, we'll leave it like that. Actually, I'll leave the ground connected. I'll leave the ground connected. I'll take this out. The test lead back in. Flip it over. So now we need the data sheet for this regulator. This UMW6219. And the way it works is if you look at the pin out, there's pin 5, that's your V out. And then pin 1 is your input. Pin 2 is ground. So those are the ones that I'm really worried about. Um, and the chip that I'm using is like this one here, the SOT23-5. So let's quick check to see what's on the input. So we said this was the input. And we're getting 4.7 4 volts. And then we're going to check this one. We're getting 2. Okay, now let's maybe check the enable, pin 3. So pin 3 is this one here. And that's tied up to five volts. And so and then pin one was no connection. So really this seems like the regulator is what's broken on that thing. Let's try to get this replaced. There's not a lot of circuitry protection on these things. So there's really this right here, there is a like PTC resettable fuse type of thing, but it's not gonna provide a lot of protection for your regulator. Um, so now I think the easiest way to do it, since I don't even care about this chip, is to just cut these out. Yeah, so I, I had a lot of issues trying to get this chip off. I ended up having to cut the two uh, legs uh, that are only in two on the one side. And then uh, on the other side, the three legs, I just kind of bent it back and forth till they broke off. Um, the major issue was that the PCB itself was very low quality. And so when I tried to clean up the pads and everything, it just was it's, it's like the, the finish of the board, the green solder mask, was just coming right off. So very difficult to work with this board mostly because the pcb is such a cheap quality but i was able to get it off and then from there we're going to try to solder on the new part with the new chips here it's kind of difficult to get these out so i have my tweezers let's turn the soldering iron on so now the question becomes how good are we going to be able to hold this perfect i'm thinking right about there is pretty good so soldering on the new part the new regulator, the LB2K, very difficult because, be, like I said before, 
the PCB was very cheap quality. And so since the removal wasn't very good done well, um, putting the new chip on was even harder. And I had to basically just heat up each you know leg individually and add solder, you know, and it's just, just tedious. As you can see, it's tedious and it's, um, I mean, I could have maybe put it in the, an oven, tried to heat it up hot enough where the solder would reflow and use like solder paste. It's kind of a hard decision there, but um, you know, if it's only five leads on each part, then yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, but it was just mostly because like the, the metal was kind of just, it, like everything kind of just disintegrated on that board. Too much solder probably. Okay, I think that's pretty good. This is totally an experiment because I don't know if this is even going to work. This is very difficult. I'm going to always check the pinout continuity real quick too. Make sure it really isn't actually something wrong. Is it actually short? No. I mean, no, there's not. So I think it's worth powering this thing up. So now that we're done soldering, let's get this mobile USB power supply. I hope it doesn't blow something up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, let's hook it up to the computer and see what happens. All right, so obviously, we wanna see if this works. So I'm gonna pull up the little ST-Link utility. I can't find anything. Okay, couldn't find anything before. Couldn't program or anything. So now I plug it in, get a little blue light blinking, a fresh list comes up. Now I could probably open an update mode and upgrade the firmware. Lights blinking, it's upgrading the firmware, all with this new reg regulator. Um, let's see if it finishes, if it's successful. All right, so all with the help of the two side cutters and my trusty solder and Aaron, you're able to get this working again. If, if you're trying to fix one of these, it's most likely the linear regulator if you shorted something out. Or it could be, you know, one of these pins could have gotten shorted out on, on the um, transient protectors but other than that you know if you're getting five volts through there's not a whole lot to break other than the main chip keep that in mind so that's it